and action. Ring. This tattoo right here is it's a hot girl, summer, so you know she got a lit. Now she got a lit. Hot girl, summer, so you know she got a lit. Yeah. Now she got a lit. What up you guys, it's your girl Malay And I'm back again with another video What's up you guys, it's your girl Malay I'm back again with another video And today's video, as you can see by the title Tremor please da -da -da -da, Relationship that I'm going through With my boyfriend in jail Now I decided to do a part 2 of this video Because I've been getting a lot of Comments on that video If you haven't seen that video I have a link down below go check it out You should watch part one before you watch part two So recently I have been getting a lot of feedback I've been getting a lot of comments You know a lot of people telling me that they're Happy that they're glad they came across this video Because it helped them a lot So I'm like why not film a little part two And while I'm recording this video I'm going to be doing my eyebrows Just to do something while I'm talking And I also have pictures to show you guys these two pictures are pictures that he drew for me and i have some pictures in this manila folder of us together you know when you're listening to a story or when you're reading a story you have to picture it in your mind so i want to just show you guys some pictures so you guys can have a better understanding and a better you know vision of what my story is like i'm in my closet filming this video so this right here this is a blanket. I set it up so it could look like a backdrop. Of course, you can see these ruffles right here, but just act like you don't see it. My last video, I was given like advice on dating somebody in jail and my experience. This time, I'm just gonna talk about my experience, you know, maybe throw some advice in there, but this is really not an advice kind of video this is more like a story time and my experience and going through it okay so i feel like i should just start you guys off with a picture of what my boyfriend looks like i know i know y'all gotta be wondering like what does he look like who is this guy you're talking about and if you're wondering this tattoo right here is his name Call me crazy, call me dumb, call me stupid, call me whatever you want, judge me, I don't care. These pictures right here are pictures that we took at visits. I'm gonna show you guys the best one. I don't know if I wanna show you all. The picture is from 2018. This was September. September 1st. OMG, this was September 1st. Today is September 1st. So this was a year ago, literally a year ago. What a coincidence. So here's the picture. Before you ask, yes, I'm taller than him. That's obviously me, and that's obviously him. He got his um his prison uniform on. This is what he wears. My hair, like my hair was super short. I had it in the puff. So yeah, this was from September 1st. And today is September 1st. Yeah, so we don't really see each other that often anymore. Before when he was closer to me, like only like 10 minutes away. I used to see him every weekend, and that's how we had the pictures. There's a lot more pictures, but he has half of them. I feel like we're doing pretty good with not seeing each other. I haven't seen him in, like, I wanna say four months. I am going crazy and if you ask why don't I just drive down there and go see him it's because I don't have a car and Uber is like $50 going not even that's not even counting coming back so it's $50 going and then just taking an the Uber there is just so risky because you like never know what could happen it's expensive it's just kind of like too much taking an Uber and I don't really want to ask anybody to take me because there's like a two hour wait. Like they're gonna have to wait outside for two hours until I come out because you have to be on, on the list. So you know, all that is really in the way right now. Working on getting my license, but I'm not gonna say too much because I honestly wanted to be surprised. Like when I pop out with a car, I don't want nobody to know that I'm about to get a car. I wanted to be surprised and I wanna shock everybody. I ain't even gonna tell anybody that I got a car. I'm just gonna pop out 
and they were like, who that? Oh, that's me. Hey, when she get a car, when she get her license? Like, that's how I want it to be. And then, other than not being able to go visit him when I want, I do talk to him. I know, I talk to him, like, a lot, pretty good. Like, I'm very grateful that I actually have a job where I can talk to him throughout the day. He calls, the first time he calls is like at 7.30, Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, he calls at 7.30 and I'm able to talk. I don't have to be at work at eight. So we'll, we usually talk from 7.30 to 7.55 and I'll go in to work. Mind you, I'm already at work at the time. I just like, you know, step out, talk on the phone. So that's good. And then the second time that we talk is, is at 12.30ish. And um, like I said, I'm so grateful that I'm able to talk while I'm at work. Around that time, I'm on break. Third time that we talk is at 7.45 at night. And sometimes, you know, he be getting a juice sometimes. So sometimes he'll call around 5.00 when you're dealing with somebody in jail like when they first go into custody it's gonna be a process of you guys being able to talk like it was a long long process for me we didn't talk right off the bat we was going through letters like we would send each other letters first so if you're dealing with somebody in jail and they just got into custody don't stress it about not hearing like of course you're gonna be stressing but don't stress yourself out about not hearing from them because it's gonna take a while for them to get in contact with you it's going to take a while for everything to go through like with the phone list and letters it's just a lot and it's so many parties that's in between before he gets your letter or before you get his letter down here where he at um we talk through the phone and we talk through jpay jpay is like basically an app that you can download from the app store or the play store don't matter they have it both on android and apple you download the app and you can basically send money send pictures and send letters in some states they have video chat but we don't got video chat but if you don't know about the app definitely get the app because it's an easy and it's simple way to stay in contact with your loved ones and who wants to freaking write a letter like writing a letter is honestly like too much you have to actually write it out and then you have to wait until someone picks it up from the mailbox and all that it just i feel like it just takes longer than doing it over the internet and on your phone you still have to buy stamps so it still takes like a couple hours to go through but i feel like it's definitely easier and faster than actually running a letter i'm gonna show y'all one more picture i feel like probably was like winter coming into spring because i had short sleeves on and this place was always cold so that's why i feel like it was winter coming into spring but here's the second picture that i'm gonna show y'all cheese i'm all cheesing and he mugging i can't really say too much about that picture because i don't know when it was let's talk about this nigga being a motherfucking artist my boyfriend is literally an artist and he makes me so mad when he doesn't take his craft serious because he is really really good i'm telling you guys i'm about to show you these pictures that he made for me um two of them are with paint and the rest are pictures that he drew and just colored and shaded in so in this envelope is everything he made for me so let me just show y'all so this right here is a picture that he drew with pencil and i remember i sent him like this tattoo book he told me that he wanted um like some type of book that he can use as references when he's drawing so when you send things you can only send money and like you can send books so i ordered this off amazon and i sent this to him this is like a tattoo book i never seen it in person i just seen it online and i was like okay i'll just get this so this um came out of the book i think i have he sent me the um but yeah he sent me the page out of the book so this is what he drew you guys see this 
Now I'm gonna show you how, I'm gonna show you what he drew. It's really good, it's really, really good. Oh, he drew this, he drew this. This is really freaking good. And it's really cute, this is one of my, like, six favorites. It says forever my love has his name and my name. And just, it's just cute, like, it's just a cute little teddy bear. Tell me this not cute. Tell me this is not just like so cute and adorable. Like imagine opening opening this up in the mail. Okay, so this right here, this one is Winnie the Pooh. It kind of got messed up. Like the red ink kind of smeared onto everything. And it has kind of like a red pinkish tint. Oops, let me move this. Yeah, so it kind of has a tint to it, but I don't think you, you will be able to tell on camera. So this one is Winnie the Pooh. This one's cute. I like this one, but this one is not in my favorites. Sorry, this one got messed up too. How did this get messed up? Malay day, Malay day, Shawty my Beyonce. It takes time, takes patience and creativity. So that's like my first slash second favorite. Mickey is giving her flowers. Just to go to, go to. I like this one too. This is, so this is the last one on cloth. This one is a flower with a bird that has a little poem kind of quote that he wrote me. I'm not the Joker and Harley Quinn. What's love without a little crazy? This one is really creative. Half the Joker's face, half of Harley. I mean Harley. I'm stupid. <laughs> I like this one. And this one came out to be a letter, okay? Let me show you guys. <laughs> my wife, my friend, stay with me forever. Hand in hand, guide me to learn your ways. Arm in arm, help me grow and become a better man. Side by side, stay by me, protect me as I protect you. Heart to heart, help me to succeed and to be all that you want me to be. Thank you, Malaysia, for the special love you have for me. Now look at this font. Like, the switch up game is real. The switch up game is real. Look at this font. Now look at this font. The same person did it. Switch up game, too real. Oh, and this picture. This is my first favorite picture. I like this picture a lot. Minnie's eyelashes are cute. Zay pop it or whatever. So. so that was all the ones on paper. Now I'm about to show you the two on canvases. I know you're gonna read, I mean, I know you're gonna watch this video in the future, Dave. So if you're watching this in the future, let me leave a little message for you. So today is September first and I just want to say about to get hella cheesy I just want to say that first of all I know we could do it I knew that we could make it out of here I'm proud of us and I know we living it big in our future I know we good I know we straight and I'm happy to be with you I just got super cheesy all right but let me show you guys the other the other two paintings he made for me First, I'm gonna show you this one. This one is um, a picture of Tupac that he created. Like, oh, I fell in love with these three because they're just amazing. Look at that shading. This is just freaking amazing. I know it was annoyed that he put happy birthday on this one. And I felt like he should have put happy birthday on the other one, but he said that 
it was just more space on this one but this one is family guy theme got stewie got brian and like three little bitches from family guy drinking having a good time yeah but i just i like this background and the fact that it's like blue on these sides and that highlight right there that's just a plus so yeah that's that one this one is a painting it's really cute i like it though even though i got naked bitches on it i like it all right so this one is my favorite like my favorite 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 just a um, couple from the Goofy movie. I think his name is Max. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think his name is Max. And I forgot her name. But I just feel like this is so cute and adorable. Like, it looks so real. Like, you know what you're doing. I love it. It's my favorite. I'm definitely going to buy frames for these two. Well, maybe not this one. Cause I don't, I'm not gonna have anywhere to hang it in my house right now, but I'll definitely buy a frame for this one. I'm so excited. Yeah, that was my video. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't an advice video. It's more like a story time, kind of chit chat, talk with me on dealing with somebody in jail, my experience, you know, what I'm going through, kind of like an update. If you guys like this video, please give it two thumbs up not one two i don't care how you gotta give it two thumbs up if you gotta sign out create another account just to give this video two thumbs up you better do it so give this video two thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below and once you subscribe make sure you click that bell notification so you can be uploaded every time that i me malaya safaje post a video and you won't miss out on anything if you want you don't have to but if you want to you can follow me on my social medias and my instagram will be right here on the screen at bts malay and my snapchat will be also on the screen at dz3 ease x1 and that's it you can follow me on my twitter same thing dz I'm on it, on and off, so it really doesn't matter. Like, if you want to talk and you want advice about dealing with somebody in jail or dealing with your man in jail, definitely hit me up on my Snapchat rather than my Instagram. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.